welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be trying out a new item of mine and it is the Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place. This is a really exciting palette. I've wanted a Juvia's Place one for quite a while after I've seen them on Nikki Tutorials. She's done some really amazing looks with their palettes. So I've chosen the Nubian 2 palette and this has got a really great range of different colours in there. As you can see down the bottom we've got some shimmers but we've also got some mattes in there and a very varied range of colours which is what I like. I don't like to be boring and do the same all the time so this definitely leaves it open for some interesting looks to be created from this palette so today I'm going to have a play around with this we're going to test it out and see how good it really is hopefully it's going to be really pigmented like the colours look in the palette because they just look absolutely fab so yeah don't forget if you enjoyed this video to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already don't forget to click the little bell button down the bottom so that you get notified when I post a new video and give me a comment down below I'd love to hear your thoughts on my videos so let's jump straight on, on to the video okay so I have zoomed you right in so that you can really get a close-up look of what I'm doing here today um, and we're gonna take a look at some of these shades so we've got some really great names for them as well which is cool like Nefertiti and Cleopatra is very fitting with the Egyptian theme of the palette um, um, which shade shall I go for first? I think I'm going to go for this shade just here, which is called Madagascar. And I think I'm going to use that to be my base shade today. So let's get going. Wow, already I can see that it is very pigmented, which is really good. I like to have a palette that actually has proper colour payoff in it. And I think this is definitely going to be one of those palettes. Okay, so I've got my base shade on. That was the shade Madagascar. And that has got a really good payoff of colour there. So the pigment is really great. Um, and it's given me a really nice sort of warm toned brown to work with. So I think that's going to be really good. Um, now we're going to take another shade. Which shade shall I go for? I think I'm going to choose the colour Morocco, which is this really vibrant sort of orangey brick brown. And I think I'm going to put that one in the crease. Wow, that is really, really cool. I think these colours are definitely bringing out the blue in my eyes, which is really nice to see. And they are really blendable. I think they'll be really good for building colour because they have a lot of pigment, but they're blending into each other really nicely. So you can definitely build up the colours and blend out if you need to. And I think this is uh, going to be a really good palette for me. Next up, I'm going to darken up the outer corner. So I'm going to go in with the shade Jezebel which is a really sort of deep purple and I'm just going to deepen up my outer corner with that okay so I have also run that underneath my eyes to sort of bring in the colour of the look as well so we're building up a really nice set of colours here um, what should I do next? I don't even know. There's so many colours to pick from, I haven't got a clue which one to pick next. I think maybe we might make this a bit more dramatic and cut the crease. So let me put some concealer on and uh, we'll do that, I think. Okay, so now I have cut my crease so you can see I've got a bit of a line going on there. I'm now going to take this really cool orange colour called Nefertiti. And it's a really nice sort of shimmery shade and I'm going to pack that into the middle and see what happens really excited to see how this is going to turn out. Oh my gosh. Can you see that? That's really cool. That's Okay, so I have put Nefertiti on and that is definitely a vibrant colour and that has really picked up really well. I'm just going to try and blend out the edges just a little bit. Okay, so this looks really cool. You may have noticed I've left the inner corner and that's because I am in the mood for trying a different colour. And I think I'm going to go with the colour Nairobi, which is this really cool gold colour. So I'm going to take that now and put that on the inner part. So not right up to the tip, that's because I'm going to save that for the brightest colour. But this is definitely a very cool gold. This palette is going to be great for doing sunset eyes. I can just tell this is amazing. 
this looks so cool okay now that I've done that bit I'm gonna put the color Zuri which is the lightest color in the palette this one here and I'm gonna use that to highlight I'm just going to take, now that I've done that, so that looks really cool, now that I've done that I'm just going to take a little bit of the Nairobi gold one and just bring that on the underneath lower lash line in the middle of it. And that is the eyeshadows done, let me put some mascara on and I will tell you my thoughts at the end. So guys, this is the finished look. I've added some mascara, I've added a nice bright lippy to match, and this is my finished eyes. I think this looks absolutely crazy fab, and the colours are so pigmented. I am really happy and excited for this palette and what I might be able to do with it. Really happy with it. So this was the Nubian... Uh, Nubian 2 palette by Juvia's Place so really excited to give this one more of a try out but the first impressions with this I am really enjoying and I can't wait to give a go this blue if the colours are that pigmented imagine what I could do with that colour so yeah definitely a massive thumbs up for this palette for me and I definitely recommend so look out for this one coming back soon in any other tutorials I might be doing because this is definitely a winner for me and uh, I'm so glad that I tried it out so guys if you've enjoyed this video don't forget it to uh, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already all my Instagram and all that sort of stuff is linked down below if you want to go follow me there and by all means give me a comment and don't forget to put the bell on I'll see you very soon with a new video bye Thank <laughs> you.